Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon TCGO video. Today we're doing another Dragon Majesty deck, and today's star is, I guess, Burn. I call this the Burn Lockdown deck. So, a few months ago, or a bunch of months ago, I was running an Infernape deck. And while I got it to be pretty good, the biggest problem I found with it was that A, either they flipped for the Burn and they lost the Burn, or B, they had a Guzma or Isarola or something, and they got rid of the burn. So, now that we're in Dragon Majesty, we have this new card called Whale of Volcano Park. And it makes it so that no matter what you flip, you can't get rid of the burn. So, that's one thing. So I thought, you know, they can still support her out of a burn. So, what else can we do? Well, step in our friend Sableye. Uh, Stabilize first attack limitation stops them from using any kind of supporter card. So they won't be able to Guzma, they won't be able to Acerola, Titan Liza, whatever it is. So I ended up kind of realizing, like, hey, you know what? Since Sableye has to be attacking, you can't, you don't really have an attacker in this deck. You have to keep attacking with Sableye. So, how else can you get a burn on your opponent? Well, easily, the solution is Delphox. So, Delphox's ability allows you to just burn your opponent once per turn. So, in a sense, it's definitely better than Salazzle. But the only thing is that it's a stage 2, which isn't, like, super duper hard to set up. So, this is a pretty decent possibility. But now, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to do a lot more damage with our burn. And that's where Infernape comes in, where he does 60 damage between turns for the burn. So, so that should be enough to knock out a 120 HP Pokemon between two turns, basically. Um, Granted, a lot of Pokemon nowadays have 130 HP, but we're going to see. I, I have yet to actually test this against any decks, so that's why I'm saying I'm experimenting. I've only been using it in the test deck built within the deck manager thing. So this is actually my third version of this deck. Um, so a couple of... At first, I didn't even have Judge, and I, I think I had Tapu Lele. And you know it was working fine. It's just like I was. I was just kind of thinking like, since we're kind of trying to limit their supporters, we also want to try to limit the amount of cards they have in hand, so that you know they miss attachments, they can't put down Pokemon, etc. Um, ideally, they they'll have a, a handful of dead supporters, and we can just get them stuck like that. So. As I was thinking, like, oh, maybe I want to get rid of Tapu Lele. So, obviously, my first thought is a Ranguru. Then I was like, you know what? I feel like there's just not enough drawing power in this deck slash in this format. So, that's where our, our boy Marshadow comes in with the Let Loose. So, I kind of like to consider Marshadow to be just an emergency draw. Like, if you have a completely dead hand and you need stuff, that's when you use him. Otherwise, you don't really want him to take up a spot on your bench. Because the way this deck is going to work, we're going to have a Delphox on the bench. We're going to have an Infernape on the bench. We probably want to have an Oranguru on the bench. And we probably want to have a Sableye on the bench for when our Sableye dies. So that's four bench spaces taken up. And if we have a Marshadow, we can't have, like, let's say, a backup Chimchar or a backup Fennekin. So... That's pretty much the idea of the deck. Uh, I think the Pokemon are good. I, th I started the deck having three Delphox, one uh, Breakson, and two Fennekin. Or three Fe Fennekin, I guess. And two Chimchar, two Infernape. So then I thought, you know what? You don't really need two Delphox on the bench. You just need one. And same thing with Infernape. So I was like, you know what? I don't think you really need more than two. Considering that you're going to be stopping supporters, so you're not going to be Guzma'd out. 
I mean, I guess you might be escape roped out, but I think you're relatively safe on the bench. So, and then the other thing was, you know, just in case one still somehow dies, you want to have some kind of backup. I would, I would have wanted to have a third Del Fox, just because you always want to burn. Because, I mean, it's great to have the extra six damage, but you always want to have burn because then you can't even get the extra six damage from Inferno. So, that's kind of the idea of the deck. And granted, it does take a little bit to set up. So, in terms of the deck engine, I kind of try to take inspiration from like Vika Ray decks or like Vika Bulu decks or also Swampert Empoleon decks. So, I kind of wanted. Before, I kind of didn't have four Nest Ball and like all the stuff. But I kind of tried to make it as consistent as possible. Granted, it's still not like perfect as much as I want it. But we have our four Nurse Ball, our four Ultra Ball. I was thinking of even including a uh, Mysterious Treasure, but that's only going to get more Shadow. Um, but other than that, there's not really a lot of space in the deck. I have three Volkner. And maybe the energy count. I feel like the energy count's a little high. Uh, I kind of just added counter energy, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. And I think the rainbow energy works pretty well. The dark energy works pretty well. And the fire energy is just kind of there. I mean, in case we want to attack with something else. The second best attacker in this deck is Infernape. Technically the first best. Just because he can power up with two energy. And that's kind of why I thought of the counter energy, because... Either A, I could just drop one on Infernape and we're good to go. Or we're falling behind and we just need Delphox to do damage, basically. Alright, so I think that's pretty much the whole idea behind the deck. Now let's just go into some games. These are like the first games I play against actual people. So let's jump in and give it a shot. up against Roasty. Hopefully he doesn't roast us because he has fire types. But it looks like it's probably a fighting Matt Fargo deck. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so so far this is a good hand because we start with a Sableye and an Energy. Unfortunately, we're not going first. Or we are. I should have gone second. Like an idiot. I didn't. But he might be able to use a supporter first turn. So it looks like he does have it my, my cargo. But other than him being able to use a supporter, I think this is a really good hand. And we're going to get two more cards. So I don't think the Lily matters too much. We're going to get a Fennekin on the bench. We're going to get a, an, a Chimchar on the bench. Mm, maybe we can play down so that we could use the Lily. I think I might just do that. Let's get a Chimchar on the bench. And let's even discard the Rainbow Energy. Let's see if we can get a, a Rangaroo on the bench as well. So we should be pretty set up. Except for the fact that we can't uh, attack first turn, so let's Orangaroo first. That is pretty cool. And we're just gonna Lily. I should have just Lilied, but. Okay, so we're gonna end our turn. Double check that we can't attack. So we actually have two Volkner and two Rare Candies. This is insane right now. Um, I kind of wasted two Ultra Balls though. So we kind of got to hope that they're in deck. Um, and let's hope that they don't get a supporter. So it would be even more amazing if we can draw probably a Delphox off the top deck. Or either a, an Infernape would also be good. Because. I would like to judge, they just sent it, I would like to judge them as soon as possible. Um, so let's just see what they do. Obviously this is a Buzz, a Buzz Garb, a cargo deck. One of the top decks in the format right now. So 
kind of just like wishing I'm, I'm about to get one shot on the stable eye so um what's he feel blowing away okay sure I guess he, yeah he's just doing that um okay good so he's got a very low hand we're just gonna get our ultra ball and we only have one ultra ball and we're probably not going to judge as much as I want to. Uh, let's get rid of a, a fire and a Guzma. And let's get the party started with a Del Fox. So this is really good right now. He's, he's down to... Uh, two cards in hand. I'm going to attach the Chimchar just because and I'm going to limitation so he won't be able to use a supporter and the only thing we're kind of missing is the well of Volcano Park so he can't use a supporter. He can't Orangaroo unless he attaches or puts the Pokemon down and I think he's stuck. He still can't do anything. Actually, he's going to be able to do damage. Okay, so... Let's not attach just yet. We're going to... Since he's already down... Oh, we, we don't have a freaking... Uh, we, don't, we don't have an Ultra Ball. I forgot about that. Alright, so I guess we'll just get another... Stable eye out, and we're just gonna attach to him. Go for the burn limitation again. So we're basically hoping that he doesn't get an energy. So he didn't uh, he didn't lose the burn. So we get an extra twenty damage. Perfect. He loses the burn now, but we're going to burn him again. Um, let's attach to Del Fox just in case. Kind of want to use up the switch and just retreat with the Chimchar, but we're going to judge. Okay, so we got another Del Fox. We'll burn again. And if we could just get this Infernape out. We can be back in business. We can be in business, I should say. So, so far he's been not able to do anything. For This is what, his third turn? His fourth turn? He's going to get more stuff out. He's probably trying to place his hand down. And if he plays down the my cargo next turn, or whenever, whatever turn that'll be, he's going to be good to go. So he takes the first knockout. Sadly, this is not going super duper as planned, but if we could just get this Infernape and not another rare candy, I think we'd do good. All right, so we got another Sableye, and this is what I'm saying, like it's a perfect time to let loose. And we just need that extra 10 damage. See, now I can use Scratch, but but then it'll take off the Supporter Lock, and we don't want that. So, let's do Limitation again, and hopefully he stays burned. That's kind of annoying, but uh, yeah, we're going to get one shot here, unfortunately. The good part, however, is that we're going to be able to, uh, well, we could play down the nest ball and just burn it. And we're going to be able to uh, knock him out this turn. Which unfortunately means that our, that uh, Buzzwall here is going to come in with the one shot. 
So unfortunately for us, you got the Garbodor out, and we have a bunch of items in our discard pile. And we're just not able to do enough right now. So since this loses, like, this seems like as soon as he gets the mech cargo out, this deck pretty much loses to the, the best deck, one of the best decks right now. So second best deck probably. So that's probably not the greatest thing. Um, so we got the Infernape finally. Of course we got it when... Uh, when we only need to do 10 more damage. I forgot to burn the nest ball. Alright, let's Oranguru first. It didn't help, so we're definitely gonna burn here. And you see, like, our hand was like so good, but we missed, <laughs> we, we had to use two of our Ultra Balls at the beginning. Alright, we're going to hold off on that. And that, that kind of screwed us up a little bit. Alright, so we have another Sableye on the, in, as backup. But we don't have the limitation, so actually this could go bad from here. But, I mean, the good thing is that we ha already have the our combo set up with the Infernape and the Delphox. So all we need to do is sit back and burn. Uh, the buzzwell took 10 damage already, so we're going to be able to do it within... We're going to be able to do the, the one on the bench within the one turn. Um, unfortunately, he can use whatever support he wants right now. And he's bringing back the Trubbish, so the Trubbish is going to be able to one-shot us. But we're technically one-shotting him back, technically, kind of, sort of. He's got the switch. He's going to get the other buzzle in. That's fine. We have our Chimchar for free retreat. And we, we actually have the skateboard too. So we can retreat a bunch of things for free. Well, a couple of things for free. Yeah, he's, he's going to get something good next turn. Or this turn with the Orangaroo. I would probably have Cynthia if I was him. I guess he won't. Oh, that's right, we don't have weakness to fighting. We have no weakness, as a matter of fact. So, that's really good. So, <clears throat> this puzzle is pretty much going to get knocked out this turn. Unless if he Shrine of Punishments. Um, and we're just going to put this down on the Inferni. And we're going to Cynthia. And since we're behind, we can actually just use counter energy. We got the burn off. And now we just sit back and wait. <clears throat> of course we get the tails now, when it doesn't matter. So, he can Guzma, so he needs a switch right now. Uh, well, he, okay, so at least we were able to keep the burn. So that might have been a bad timing on his Shrine of Punishment for him. Um, he's down to this one and one more. So we have, since we have three Whale of Parks, we should be good to go as long as we don't have to discard one. Okay, so we're going to put the Chimchar up. Get our prize. I was gonna say two prizes, but <laughs> there's our Ultra Ball. Um, we can try to use that to play down our hand for the Oranguru. So now he's like, hmm, what do I want to lose next turn? So everything he's got on his bench, he probably wants to keep. So the Garbodor can one shot us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
140, 140. So you could definitely one shot the Sableye. How much does this Chimchar have? In front of have 150. So if we had put the the um, uh, skateboard on Delphox, we might just retreat into Delphox. But we didn't, sadly. So I guess we can't do that. So let's just burn this guy. Oh, actually, he didn't even evolve. So let's see if we could pull off another limitation. Um, we're going to get rid of this and this. So he kind of lost some scene by not being able to play down the the Garboder. Garboder. So he, he's not going to take the one shot here. If we could just get an energy, we'll be good to go. Okay, so I probably played that a little too early. But um, I think I might leave that Chimchar up. Sadly, that's going to give him access to his supporters. But I think we want to preserve the Sableye for right now. So this is a nice like in-between turn where he doesn't have a Garp, a one-shot setup. Um, he probably should have attacked with his Buzzwell last turn because he would have done the 120. Um, he does have access to a Guzma right now. If he wants to, like, yeah, get something ridiculous into the active, but we got the switch, so I'm not too concerned about that, buddy. Alright, guys, so it's looking pretty decent right now. I'm not a fan of the McCargo being able to get him whatever card he needs which is probably going to be a Garbodor right now um, if we had a Guzma right now we can try to just get rid of the McCargo or the Trubbish and he, he also has the ab ability to get a, another Shrine of Punishment to get rid of our Wella Park but once we get rid of one more Shrine of Punishment we should be good to go So yeah, this is like such a ridiculous deck, but it looks like it's working decently. So we're going to get our Sableye back up and attach the Rainbow Energy. Unfortunately, I think this uh, Buzzwole can actually one-shot us. So we're going to just try to hold him down a little bit and then just limitation. So even though he can one-shot us, he I forgot to burn! Oh my god. Alright, so that might have lost us the game. Because now this guy's going to take it three turns to get knocked out. Or three in between turns to get knocked out. So, I don't know if I have Rescue Stretcher in this deck, but we definitely need more Sableyes. Because next turn he's going to have the ability to just use whatever supporters. So this might be a good time to let loose. And unfortunately, I just had the misplay there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to let loose, even though it's going to give him an extra card. I think we might have to do damage this turn. So luckily we did get the fire energy. We can also go in with Inferni. Do 50 plus 60, which won't be enough. So I'll just do the 20 plus 60. And the coin flip didn't matter there. So unfortunately we're kind of losing our free retreat. I mean, even though we have the skateboard, we're also going to lose our Delphox. I mean, good thing is we can definitely one-shot this Garbodor. Then the, the Buzzwall is still 
in the back there. Um, let's see, one, two, three, seven, nine. So her Infernape is definitely getting one shot. Whether it's by the Garbodor or by the Buzzwall. So the, only, the one good thing is that he has a counter energy, so I don't think we're going to get ahead on prizes. So let's attack into the Garbodor. And let's get a Fennekin out. This is crazy. So we can get a Fennekin out. And Delphox next turn. So we, we're kind of like alright, I guess. Um, as long as Infernape survives. And he's going to need to survive two turns. So if I could somehow get two rare candies. Which actually, I think I might just set that up. Just because I can Orangaroo with it. Or that might have just been the biggest mistake I made all game, but I, I think I, I think we, I've definitely made a bigger mistake already. So let's burst punch now that we can still use our counter energy. I, I, I think we're doing pretty good. If it wasn't for that one misplay and like a few turns of, of just like weirdness, I think we might have done better. Um, I'm not sure if this deck is necessarily good against like one prize attackers. Meaning his deck is good against one prize attackers. So like I'm not sure if this deck is doing well in holding this in having held this deck back or if it's just like we're just trading prize for prize. But I mean we have been doing some pretty good damage yeah kind of the, the only bad thing is that I'm not sure if we can take hits right now um, so we're gonna have to Cynthia here and we got nothing that can really help us out of this situation so we're gonna retreat. We're gonna Infernape. And unfortunately the other Infernape's kind of dead right now. Not he's not dead, but he really can't do much for us. Because he's got the counter energy. And there goes the Guzma for the game, so that's kind of he loses the burn, which is kind of irrelevant, but that's kind of the bad thing about the deck. Actually, I think if he wasn't able to Guzma that turn, which he probably got off of that Cynthia, um, we would have taken a knockout on, on our turn coming back, and then we would have taken the last knockout when we attacked. So, that limitation, man, it's super crucial. Um, I should have checked if there's a rescue stretcher in deck, but I, I guess we'll check now with the Nest Ball or a. Ultra Ball. You have a good deck, my friend. Alright, so... Kind of a decent hand. And we're going second. So he's actually weak to dark. Oh, he doesn't have weakness to dark. I guess because he's part fairy. Um, so this looks like it's going to be a Malamar deck. And he's used his supporter. So let's try to see if we can stop him from using supporters anymore. Um, some variants of this deck play Alter the Moon. But I think we're safe to play our well at Park Down. Because even if he does, I don't think he plays more than two. And here's a Lele for a supporter. And it's another Cynthia. So, if we could get this limitation going, it's going to be beautiful. So, we're definitely going to get it going. And hopefully we get some, some of our bench set up. Uh, good, so we got our Nest Ball. We got our Fennekin. 
and kind of want to let loose, but I kind of don't want to give him anything else. So we're just going to limitation, and hopefully he doesn't have much of a good turn this turn. <laughs> so like the thing, one of the things I was worried about is like Chimeco, but this is kind of like my own version of Chimeco. So he can't do anything, which is good. Uh, we have a Volkner, but nothing to combo that with. So we're just gonna Cynthia save that Marshadow for later. Okay, so we have a rare candy. And that's pretty much all we have. So we're just gonna keep limitationing. So that's kind of the good part about limitation is in a situation like this, kind of gives you a chance to get set up. But ideally, you wanna get set up ASAP. Um, the one kind of funny thing is that he can actually um, I forgot what I was going to say okay so we got the Delphox oh he, the one funny thing is that he can copycat our limitation I don't think he's going to do it at this point but Uh, see, it's good that we have the Delphox now, but I kind of wanted to get the Infernape also, so that's the reason why I did the Let Loose. Um, so he needs to get Energy and the Malamar set up, or Energy or a Malamar set up. So hopefully he has a handful of supporters, so he's going to retreat out of the Poison out of the burn. That's kind of a one bad thing about this Malamar deck is all the escape rope, all the escape boards. So, okay, so he's got one Malamar set up. And I, I guess that let loose wasn't the greatest let loose. Uh, we kind of have a pretty dead hand here. So it would be good to get either an Infernape, an Ultra Ball, or Or a rare candy, so then we go Volkner for whatever we need. And it looks like we got it. So first things first, burn. We're gonna Ultra Ball away this and this for the Infernape. And we're gonna rare candy, Volkner for the rare candy. And finally, after like six turns, we're finally set up. So all we have to do is watch all these guys burn. Um, he's probably going to not let this Mimic you die. So we're probably going to have to uh, continue burning back and forth because he's going to keep retreating and he's going to Malamar up in energy. You know, so this is going to be a slow and steady process, but hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully it pays off. Get some water real quick. So he's trying to think of whether he should retreat into the into the uh, dawn wings. Marshadow. So I'm not weak to fighting, so I'm perfectly fine with the Marshadow. I mean, he's probably going to one-shot me anyway, I guess. I'm not really sure why he's going with the Marshadow. I'm not sure why he didn't retreat. I guess he really wanted to draw. But he's going to have to uh, bring something up. And hopefully for him. Oh! He, he, he just didn't want to take it. Alright, so, good. So, at least we got one win out of the hat. And you guys can kind of see, like, I feel like the first game was, you guys kind of saw it anyway. But you guys can kind of see how the deck works. And, okay, I'm happy that we at least got one win.
Uh, let's do the this one because it gives more coins. And I'm happy you guys got to kind of see how the deck works. And we got to win. I mean, you guys have been seeing how the deck works. It's a pretty, like, funny deck. Like, you just don't expect somebody to, to like, beat you like this. But not that we're going to, like, be beating everybody, but... It's a really interesting combination, I think. And I'm, I'm glad to show it to you guys. And there's actually a, a, a league challenge tomorrow. And I'm thinking of playing this deck just because it's a league challenge and it doesn't really matter anyway. So, I mean, it, it does matter to some extent, but. Alright, so I think the consensus is to go second, right? So, it does matter to some extent, but I think. I think I kind of just want to play the deck. And we have a terrible hand. But luckily, we're going to be able to at least limitation them. And it looks like they have a guardy deck, most likely. So I think the limitation is going to hurt them a lot. Of course, their first turn, Lily or whatever, is going to be very beneficial to them. But okay, so it is guardy. So he kind of doesn't really know what I'm playing. But this is a terrible first hand. Okay, at least we can get a Fennekin out. Or should we get a Rangaroo? I mean, we could play down most of those cards. But let's just limitation. He didn't use a supporter, so let's supporter lock him. He probably has a Guardi right now. I doubt that he plays Switch. Um, and maybe hopefully we can uh, judge him or something. Orangaroo. Our boy. Um, I think I want to keep... the Ralt's active and not the Curlia. Curlia. So it looks like he probably held his supporter back because he had a Curlia in hand or or probably like a combo of both. So this is another thing about this deck. I don't think it does that well against Zark. So I'm really just burning this Guzma right now. And I'm gonna play that down just so I can Orangaroo. I think we're doing pretty good on energy and we got a Volkner, so we can Volkner for the <coughs> for the rare candy next turn. And at least start getting some damage on the board. And then all we're gonna need after that, and of course he gets the Zark. So all we're gonna need after that is the Infernape and we can start doing some serious damage. Um Choice man doesn't matter. He should have probably thrown that out. Rescue stretcher. Of course he doesn't know if I... Oh my god, of course. He doesn't know if I have Tapu Lele or, or whatever else in this deck, so... He kept the choice band on. So it looks like that that's kind of bad for us. That he's able to start hitting for 60, basically. Um, let's power up the... Del Fox and let's get the rare candy evolve burn guys I'm still salty about missing that one burn I think we could have won that game to be honest and at least we got the Chimchar so Let's continue the limitation. Hopefully he doesn't get out of burn. But we need Wella Park. Okay, so good. We still need, like, severely need Wella Park to be able to do anything. I'm sorry, I keep saying he, and it's Katie Lady. 
So it's actually, I'm going to say she from now on. Uh, so she has the one turn knockout, unfortunately. We do have the Chimchar. Which I don't know if that buys us anything. So... I don't know if we want to play this Guzma down. Maybe Guzma for the Curlia. This is not looking super good right now. Alright. So, Chimchar up. He's still burned. She's still burned. She is still still burned. And we have a Volkner, so... We can Volkner for what? Another Nest Ball for another... Sableye? So at least we're kind of thinning out two cards. We're gonna burn. I'm just gonna keep burning even though he's burned just so I can remember to burn. And alright, so we have a Lily for next turn. And unfortunately, no limitation. The Lily's gonna be good for us. And of course, he loses the burn. Well, I mean, we've gotten pretty lucky with the burn, so. Uh, I feel like now he's gonna explode and he's gonna, like, Cynthia for like two guardies and like okay Pokemon fan club which is kind of just as bad um yeah so if I was him I probably would have gotten two of rules out I don't know what's in his hand though so cause like now that he has this big of a hand um he's pretty much gonna be one shotting us from now on. So actually we probably should have retreated into maybe the Orangaroo because we needed that Chimchar. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of just thinking of what I can add to this deck. Probably do a, a fan club. Yeah, so this is not looking good right now. So yeah, I think once he had this the Zorg set up, that was pretty much it. Um, he, he was able. What did he do to get? Like he had so many cards in hand. I, I guess I'd never really brought him down. Um, let's get their limitation up there. Let's go for the burn. And I guess let's put this on the Delphox. Put this on the sub save a line. Okay, so we have not much that we can do anything with. We can limitation, but that's not really helping out that much. Um, we can also just put a fire energy. Well, let's limitation so that he doesn't Guzma. She, so she doesn't Guzma. And I probably should have goose mud. Oh man. We're kind of losing momentum really quickly here. And it's just not looking good for us right now. We have no Chimchar on the bench. This guard he's got is at least a two turn. Two turn knockout if all the burns stick. And we have Inferno. So. That's looking like it's not going to happen. He's got a ton of energy on it, and for some reason he plays Dark Energy. And yeah, that's just not, it's not going well right now. Um, Orangaru, I mean, I guess we can retreat. And nothing, so I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, we can try to Guzma for something. But I think everything retreats pretty easily. I guess we can Volkner for the Nest Ball. Or maybe Volkner for an Ultra Ball. Alright, Volkner for an Ultra Ball. Get rid of the Delphox and the Guzma. Get 
get a chimchar down. And now we're, we have one less Volkner, so a little harder to get the rare candies. We're going to instruct for one. And a nest ball again. For a more. No, we can't marsh at him. I guess let's get another Sable Eye down. And I think that's good. I mean, it's not good in terms of us winning, but that's good for the turn. We're probably going to get Guzmud for the Delphox at some point. Or Ace of Rolad. So I think we're just going to put the Delphox up. We're going to lose our Rangaroo. We're not really going to be able to do much. We need to somehow get... Well, we can. I guess we could get a supporter. If we get a supporter, we're probably going to be good. Um, this Guardian has a lot of energy on it. He doesn't want to risk not being able to one-shot the Delphox. I think that's why he's doing that. But he's got six energy, so that's 180. And, of course, I meant to say she. So, third game didn't go so well. So, apparently, this deck doesn't do super great against every kind of deck. We're going to put the Sableye up. We're going to put the Chimchar. No, we're going to put the Sableye up. We're going to burn the switch. I feel we're going to get a Liddy. Oh, Cynthia. Okay, so we're just going to burn the switch, I think. Let's burn the switch to Chimchar. Burn. We're going to Cynthia. And we have a good combination of stuff. So we can actually do some damage with the Delphox. Evolve into Infernate. So now he put all his eggs in one basket. But she put all her eggs in one basket. But I don't think we're going to be able to do enough damage. We can actually let loose right here. Oh, we can't let loose. Crap. Okay, so we're going to do 100, 210. Unfortunately, we can't even knock this thing out. Alright, so... That would have been so funny. So, I think I'm going to just get rid of the... Right, so then we have three. But it would have been so funny if we could have taken out this knockout. And then he's like stuck with no energy. She's stuck with no energy. But I don't, I don't think I run choice band in this deck. So yeah, one thing I could add to this deck is a rescue stretcher. I don't think we have a rescue stretcher. Um... Seems like Choice Band is just kind of like a very like situational, like really, really situational card. Pretty sure he can just attack and win, so I don't know what he's trying to do here. Uh, but at least we're going to get the knockout between turns, so I think that's still like PTCGO still plays that out, so maybe that's the reason he's doing this ridiculous setup. She. Um, but yeah, I, I think if we could have gotten set up a little bit faster with the Infernape, we might have actually taken a prize at least. But um, but yeah, it seems like this deck might not hold up against certain decks, or maybe it's kind of trolly against certain decks or whatever. But. Oh, okay, so we didn't even get the burn damage. Okay, so we can't even get our one point for the ladder. So yeah, there you have it. That's how that deck works. Uh, was an interesting idea. kind of worked. Um, I'm actually surprised it worked better than I thought it would. I thought it would work, but like to actually come close to winning a game and to make someone rage quit, I think that was worth making the deck just for that. Um, so guys, 
if you like the deck, if you like the idea behind the deck, which I still certainly do, just hit a like and just let me know in the comments or whatever. I think the deck, in terms of like Pokemon, is sound. It's just in terms of the engine, it's not so great. So that's really all I have to say about that. Guys, just let me know, and I'll see you guys next video.